Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview. Call me Adam.com. Hey everyone, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at Feinstein's 54 Below with Nicole Vanessa Ortiz, who just finished a run in Smokey Joe's Cafe. Yeah. Um, and now you're doing a show all about the divas that have influenced you mm -hmm. um, throughout your life. Yeah. So my first question is, what makes now the right time to do this show? Well, I think I got really fortunate to be offered the show and to also get a day in March because mm -hmm. March, as everyone knows, is Women's History Month. Yes. And the night of my show is literally the day before International Women's Day. Oh, so there's sure. just so much backdrop mm -hmm. to everything mm -hmm. happening with this particular show, the concept of it, the theme of it, and just the energy. That's so great. Now, um, some of the divas that you are going to be honoring mm -hmm. are um, Tina Turner, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston, Cher. Mm -hmm. So um, who else influenced you? Oh, and then we have so many other more, of course. Um, I have a, a Pat Benatar tribute that I'm throwing into the set list. I have a Phyllis Hyman that I'm throwing in there, um, an Alanis Morissette, oh Gloria Stefan, Selena, um, Big Mama Thornton. I, I'm a huge fan of so many of the women that you mentioned. Oh, good, good, good. So my, my other question is, if you could sing a duet, I'm just going to choose three. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stick with Tina, Whitney, and Cher. Mm -hmm. So if you could sing a duet with the three of them, which song of each of theirs would you want to duet? So, God bless her soul, um, if Whitney was alive, yes. um, When You Believe, mm -hmm. hands down. Or Count On Me, mm -hmm. love that one too. Um, Tina Turner, Proud Mary, mm, got yes. to. And Cher, um, Strong Enough. Oh, I love that. Yeah, That's so Strong great. Strong Enough would That's be so a great. really, really cool song. And um, if you were able to meet each of these artists, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? I learned how to make my lyrics more honest mm -hmm. by listening to Whitney. Mm -hmm. I learned how to, you know, really own my posture, mm -hmm. both metaphorically and liter literally, watching Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. And then I learned how to be fearless watching Cher. Yes. See what I mean? So yes. the and all the other women that will be covered in the show, you know, had their own way mm -hmm. of, you know, making that impression on me. personally invited by Gladys Knight to go out on tour with her. Oh my gosh. I mean, first of all, how did that happen and what is it like when Gladys Knight calls you and be like, come on tour with me? So when I met Gladys Knight, that was in 2012, okay. November of 2012. Okay. It was when the Apollo Theater was doing their first pilot of mm -hmm. BET Apollo Live. Mm -hmm. And now they're currently running as Showtime at the Apollo oh, with okay. Steve Harvey. Uh -huh. But at that time they were doing a pilot of <laughs> BET Apollo Live and it was the first season. And I had done a tribute to Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You for that show. And when I finished my performance, it was a panel of three judges. Then Gladys, of course, as the renowned diva that she is, was the last to speak. And when she picked up her microphone, I remember just the audience going muted and all I could hear was her. Like I couldn't even hear people around her because the reverence I had for her yes. and First of all, she still sounds exactly the way she did when she first came out. Oh my God. That's first. And when Gladys Knight spoke to me and said, I'd love for you to go out and tour with me, that in and of itself was just the biggest compliment because I would have gotten that woman coffee if that's mm -hmm. what that meant. <laughs> but, you know, the fact that she, like, actually took a moment to just acknowledge that, you know, I see what it is that you're working with, yes. I see what it is that you're doing, and mm -hmm. I appreciate it, and I'm a fan of it, like, that's just the biggest honor. That is. And it's something to also live up to because then I constantly want to make sure that I'm maintaining and constantly getting better you know so that when people check in on me again they can see wow there's growth there's yes. not like a standstill like there's no peak you know mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I never like to feel like I've reached a peak you know yes. I like to always feel like there's something more for me to develop yes yeah, so, so you keep growing and, yeah so yes. that moment mm -hmm. in and of itself was humbling on a developing level yeah. because I I knew that from that point in time I had to keep 
raising the stakes. Mm -hmm. I had to keep pushing myself and challenging myself beyond my limits. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. That's incredible. It was an amazing experience yeah. to just, and then we, we um, met in the green room later that evening and we took a photo. I think the photo was posted up on my Instagram and you can just see in that photo the love. Yeah. You know, just, just the overflowing love and support and energy that she brought to that entire situation being on Apollo 5. So, not to mention, she actually did Smokey Joe's Cafe at one point in her career as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And so when oh I had gosh. gotten the gig, you know, that was the first lady I thought of. I was like, oh, gosh. Oh in a perfect world, I wish Gladys could see this. And I oh. hope that if she did see it, I would make her proud yes. with the performance. You know, but girls, I'm sure you did. Oh, I hope so. Sure you did. Yeah. I'm sure you did. Well, my last few questions are some rapid fire questions. Mm. So uh, first is Coke or Pepsi? <laughs> Coke. Uh, peanut butter, crunchy or smooth? Smooth. Coffee or tea? Tea. Uh, your favorite go-to emoji when texting? Oh, the one with the uh, eyes crossed and the tongue oh, sticking out. That. Yes. that one. Yes. yes, I love it. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, everybody watching, come see Nicole's show, March 7th, 930. It's called Becoming Her, a Divas Tribute. Thank you so much. Thank this you. was wonderful. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Just ask anybody who's had them, had them, live for the business of show. Call me Adam.com.